Oof. Amazing What stuff. a beautiful moment. Absolutely. How do you feel? Absolutely. How do you feel? I'm ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> Watching that again, I literally can just imagine it happening. I'm playing really it over and over. Reliving the moment, mm. exactly. Mm. Amazing. Ooh, yes. Amazing. I mean, what, what can I say? It just feels good to be a winner, doesn't it? it does Absolutely. Everyone now calling. Your phone is blowing up, I guess. Sure you're, you're tired. I need to change my number. I need to change <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's been amazing. amazing. So let's talk a little about highlights, literally, from yes. was there any major highlight for you from the whole competition? From the whole competition, obviously, I mean, it's only fair to say the crowning moment. Mm -hmm. um, it was everything was leading up to that. So I think just safe to say that the crowning moment was everything I hoped it would be and more. So mm. Mm. you we were, were talking on the radio because, you know, I had a moment with her on the radio and she talked mm. about how this was quite a journey. Oh, yes. You yes. know, so tell <laughs> us about it. Yeah, so um, like I mentioned to you earlier, I had a lot of challenges with this journey. Um, one, you know, with my profession, and I was working a lot of hours um, with COVID-19, obviously still on ground. We know we're required to just mm. do as much as we can. And, you know, the way I am, I, I have time, let me give some more. So I was working a lot, then I had to come back to Nigeria um, for the live interview. And then shortly after that, I caught COVID. I don't know, either between the transition, somewhere in between all of that. And then I had COVID. I was down for about a week or so. Thank God, you know, it wasn't as bad, you know, to the mm -hmm, point that I'm mm -hmm, still here, thank yeah. God. However, you know, we had task one we were working on at that point, but I had to push through. And I didn't even tell anybody at Silverbird or the organization because I didn't want to make it like an excuse. That was one thing that happened. Um, I mentioned that I lost my consumer. He died um, a couple days before we actually needed to go to the camp. And we needed all of our um, costumes ready so they were also but mental mostly I think challenge. it was the mental battles that I was facing I started to question like okay I know you said you wanted to do this but what is your why make it is your why strong enough is it really going mm. to mm. get you through all of the challenges that are yet to come and um, just wanting to be prepared but knowing that a lot of things are out of my control Absolutely. you know like someone passing on I can't do anything about that you know I mean he's still rest in peace of course um, but it was just more of the mental challenges that I had to fight. So I'm so grateful that I was able to overcome all of that because, like I said to him, you know, to win anything, you have mm. to win it in your mind. You have to conquer that first. And mm. I, I think, think that's what really did it for me. At any point, do you think, I'm not sure of this, on stage, because, of course, there are a lot of girls, you're not the only yes. one, and I'm sure yes. getting to top five. What was it like when you were at that top five? Top five. What was running I, through your mind? I won't even lie. You know, I'm going to be 100% huh. honest with y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as soon as I got to top five, I was you know, very, very confident that I would be able to answer my question adequately to be able to get that crown. I mean, I had worked hard enough and all those girls up there were beautiful. Um, but, you know, me and um, Maris, Miss Universe, we had a very um, fluid relationship and it was very a, a good understanding and we knew we didn't want the same crown. Um, <laughs> we did not. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't, we, we didn't want the case. same crown. So, at the end of so the day, it enemies. was, yeah, we, we <laughs> were friends up there so I knew one person that wasn't going vying for Miss World. So, I had, you know, three other competitors oh, nice. and a good thing was that I answered the question last I think almost that was a blessing for me in disguise nice, nice. because I was able to see how other people answered. and I was like oh Chi you know just right. take your time just take your time <laughs> all right so, so Chi, thank you yeah. so thank much you, really nice Ochi. and we'll be having more of you yes and doing all your media rounds we wish you all the best thank you so going much. forward it's definitely going to be amazing and um, before we wrap up of course wishing happy birthday to our CFO a celebrated good Mr. Jonathan Yakubo it's his birthday today Aww, wish birthday. you happy birthday I uh, wish Victor money a happy birthday Birthday today, which is from your nephew Jesse, Ethan, and sister Izini. That's uh, from Moses Victor. Are you wish yourself? Yes, wish myself what? Happy birthday to you, Dana Daniel, aka Asquire. Yeah, that's from Ifai. <laughs> it was Sophie's birthday. Sophie's our intern yesterday. It was her birthday. And my birthday is tomorrow. <laughs> so I wish happy myself birthday. a happy birthday tomorrow, not today. <laughs> so if you're sending the cakes, you're sending the um, stocks. My DMs are tomorrow. open. My account numbers are open. <laughs> hey, you can send me this whatever. This is where we wrap up yeah. our show. Tony, wait now. We gotta go. Uh, whatever. Tony and you're going to pay the airtime bills. <laughs> whatever Tolu needs, send it to me. Yes, <laughs> all right, and guys. also me too because we're all celebrating. Oh today. yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and so it's all the best. Bye, guys. Have an amazing day. We'll Thank see you tomorrow. You.